Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Juice TV. My name's Rachel and I'm coming to you from Level 10 at the Queensland Children's Hospital. If you like circus art shows, acrobats and magic tricks, stick around because we have a great episode planned just for you. Let's get started. First up, we check out the world famous Cirque du Soleil in their amazing show Lucia. Then our friend Spiral visits Aerial Angels Academy, a circus, arts and dance school. Finally, Dynamo the Magician shares an epic visit to the Queensland Children's Hospital. What a fun episode we have planned. You know what else is fun? A game of quick questions. My favourite hobby is writing books and turning them into films. One of the books that I turned into a film is called The Tales of Jane Warlock. It's about a girl that lives in a different world and she gets sent to boarding school where she has to save some missing students. Yes, I have three pets. Two cats named Sophie and Jasmine and a dog named Lily. Jasmine's so sassy, she only likes me. <laughs> Sophie's a ragdoll and Lily is a Maltese Shih Tzu. My favourite subject at school is drama. I'm going to be doing it next year. Outside of school, I do professional acting classes. There are two types of characters that I love to play. I like being the sweet, innocent, shy girl. Aww. I also love being the sassy man. Sorry, some of us get a bit caught up. Well, I'm glad you got to know me a little better. I can be a bit dramatic. Let's check in with our friends at Cirque du Soleil. Bienvenido a Mexico. Mi nombre es Daniel. Willow. Rory. Ellie. Did we trick you? We're not actually in the country of Mexico. But we are being transported there today. For Cirque du Soleil, Lucia. Cirque du Soleil's Lucia is all about gravity-defying acrobats and surreal rain-soaked performances. Lucia transports you to an imaginary Mexico filled with light, colour and jaw-dropping moments. Imagine a place where dreams come to life. I spent a little bit of time in hospital, so being here is really special. For me, coming from the hospital to an event like this is something that I will remember forever. I'm so excited for this. And today we're taking you guys backstage for a VIP experience. Let's take a tour of where the magic happens. Hi Nelson and Melvin, thanks for having us here. Thank you guys so much for coming, it's such a pleasure to have you guys here today. Yeah, we're super happy to be here with you guys. Thank you for having us. Melvin, what started your career? Funny that you asked, Daniel. <laughs> um, so basically, I saw a friend of mine do a backflip one day, and I really wanted to learn it, so I went to the local circus and I asked them if I can take classes, and they told me yes. And then uh, the next day I was in Cirque du Soleil. That's a pretty cool way to start your career. Thank you. Nelson, what was one of your first tricks you ever learned in the circus? And I mean ever. Ever? I think the first thing that I learned when I joined the circus was actually how to juggle. Cool. Would you, be, would you like to learn a bit of juggling today with everybody? Definitely. Fantastic, let's do it. So the first step for juggling, guys, is always starting with one. You can't have three without two without one. And the most important thing about juggling too, don't worry about dropping it. Happens all the time, Oops. totally natural. Everyone just Oops. drop their ball right now, quick. Just, just drop it. This is a very important part of juggling, picking it back picking up. Picking it back up. And trying it again. That's where jugglers get all their exercises, <laughs> picking up the balls they drop. <laughs> First thing we're gonna do is hold them out like this, elbows by our sides. We're just gonna throw this ball up and into that hand. Yeah, very good. Just like we did with one ball, guys, how we threw it from one hand to the other like that. You're going to have both balls in both hands. When you throw this ball into the air, that's when you throw this ball into the air too. So it looks like this. Ready? One, two. One, two. One, two. Perfect. Perfect. It's so tricky, it's so tricky. But it's super fun to practice too as well, you know? You get into a rhythm. You've got to keep your eye on both balls. Yes, yes, that's exactly right. I 
think I'm going to need some more practice. Well, we've met some of the casts that bring this performance to life, but let's really get performance ready with a bit of stage makeup. take to do the stage makeup? So when they first start learning, it can take almost two hours because there's lots of steps and lots of details, but it looks so good at the end. And once you're really good at it, you can do it within 45 to an hour, some people even faster. Would you like to try some? Sure. We're gonna be the butterfly woman. She's one of the main characters in the show and she wears giant monarch butterfly wings. And so she has these great little lines and some sort of cloud looking paint. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Colette, what's the hardest design you have ever done? That is a good question. I find some of the hardest ones to do are makeup like this, where it's more of organic shapes and you have to be more free with your shapes as well, where you're drawing, when it's a very easy to follow, like this shape, this shape. It's pretty easy, but this one you kind of have to feel as you do the brush strokes, and that can be difficult. But I also love this makeup because of the challenge. Well, I can't wait to see the end result. We are stage ready. We've seen the set, we've met the cast, we're all done up with the bling. I'd say it's time to get the show on the road. Before we do that, a little birdie told me that there was one final surprise. Hey guys, welcome to the stage. This is where all the magic happens in the big top. There's something special about this stage. There's a couple of things actually. So there's a pool that appears and disappears during the show. And there's also up here where you see the lights up here, there's a big rain curtain, which rains down water during the show. Water comes raining down and we can actually make images in the rain. So almost like artwork in the rain with the water. Would you like to see some of that? One, two, three. Lucia! Can you see the different animals? What's that one? A fish? That's a big love heart. There you go, it's a heart. Whoa, that's not what I expected. That was epic. I wonder why that doesn't happen when I turn the tap on at home. That was truly amazing. I really felt like I was in Mexico for the past few hours. Guys, you got to see the show. Thanks to the entire team for that VIP experience. And from all of us, ciao! That was truly incredible. Thank you everyone at Cirque du Soleil. Let's head over to Aerial Angels Academy, where our friend Spiral talks with more talented performers. Hey guys, my name's Spiral. A classic quick Juice TV question is what is your best party trick? And our hosts always give crazy answers. Me, I don't have a best party trick, but that is about to change. My family and I are gonna level up big time when it comes to party tricks. We're at the Aerial Angels Academy. And as if the name isn't cool sounding enough, this is a circus arts and dance school based on the Gold Coast. Aerial Angels is a great name, but what actually happens here? So this is a circus school and our academy teaches all the up and coming circus artists everything they need to know from tumbling, acrobatics to silks, lira and trapeze. That's really cool. Yeah. No, we love it. We have a lot of fun and then we've got Aerial Angels who are the performers that go out all over the world doing huge shows. So how old do you have to be to train here? We have students starting from as little as three years old in our baby circus classes and right up to as old as you want to be. We've got grandmothers and grandchildren all training the same. Do you have a favourite performance skill? I love the lira. It's my favourite. So what is the lira? The lira is the aerial hoop, so the big circle in the sky. Christine, thanks for the chat. Let's meet some of the performers. Jasmine, so what kind of circus do you do? 
I mainly do the aerial side, so the silks, the trapeze, the lira, anything that's really high in the air. That's my favourite. <laughs> what is your favourite thing about doing circus? I think the challenge and the achievement when you get something and being able to just get up there and do all these fun tricks, it makes you feel really good. <laughs> when did you first start doing circus or like how old were you? I had a dancing background, so I grew up dancing. And I come to circus about six years ago and just started slowly building my way up and then started doing more and more and fell in love with it. And what's like your favourite thing about performing here? About performing, I love obviously the crowd's reaction because that's who you're performing for. But also just the feeling it gives you inside. It makes me feel really, really good about myself and really happy. So I'm an aerialist, so I do silk, trapeze and lira and any other kind of apparatuses that you can do in the air. So I have an anchor and I have a flower and I have a cube. I have lots of different things. That's really cool. When did you first learn how to do circus? So I actually got a flyer in the mail when I was probably just a little bit older than you. Um, for the studio right here. So I trained here when I was younger and then I got injured. So I had a couple of years off and now I've been back for four years. So I did full-time training here and I finished school and now I train here as a performer. What's your favourite thing or what do you love about being a circus performer? I like, I like being a circus performer because I can be creative. But I'm not very good at speaking in public or singing. So I thought that aerial was probably the best for me. So I get to be creative and I get to make up routines and I get to dress up all fun and pretty. Matt, what kind of performer are you? Um, I'm a clown. I can tell. <laughs> can you tell? <laughs> can you tell? <laughs> I do acrobatics and clowning and all different types of show and we teach and just have fun and it's all just about making people happy really. How did you learn to do the stuff that you do? I learnt it just through practicing every day. I went to circus schools and learnt from amazing teachers from all over the world and you just pick, pick up stuff and it's just like learning to tie your shoelaces up. Oh. You just start with a simple thing and then it gets easier and easier and easier. Like I said, this visit is all about upping our party trick game. After a quick warm up and a little bit of showing off, let's do this. But now we finally have our party trick, the family pyramid. Thanks, Spiral. That looks like so much fun. I'll leave the acrobatics up to you. I'll stick to hosting Juice TV. Up next, Tori gets to have a chat with the world famous magician Dynamo. Should we try something with you? What's your name? Yeah. What's your name? Katie. Katie, come st step into my office. Okay. This is Katie, everyone. You, you all been all, all know Katie. So I'm going to try something with uh, with you to begin with. Can you do me a favour? Hold your hands up like this. Okay. Perfect. So yeah, a little bit wider apart. Are you left or right-handed? Right. Right. Close it into a fist, mm -hmm. and then hold this one out for me. I'm just going to pull this a little. Can, can everyone see your hand? Yeah. I'm going to put a little core on here. Can everyone see? You see it on the camera? So I'm going to make sure it's dry. Yeah. So it's dry right there, it doesn't come off, yeah? But here's the idea, if I take it and magically make it disappear from there and reappear in that hand.
I've always wondered what's, what's it like to be famous. It's different. Uh, it takes a little while to get used to when you know, like when I'm out and about and people are kind of staring at you. And it took me a while to realise that they're staring at me because I'm Dynamo, not because they want to fight me or want to do anything to me. Um, but then I kind of, I don't think I'll ever get fully used to it. But it is exciting, you know, like it's, it's quite good. But I'm generally quite a shy guy, so it's always been a bit strange for me to, you know, get used to kind of being centre of attention. But when I'm performing magic, I kind of forget about, you know, my, uh, my kind of shyness, and that's when I come alive. All these cards are different. Yeah, choose any one that you like. Don't let me see it, show it to everybody. Remember it, yeah? I'm gonna pop it back there. That's about halfway down. It's in the middle, right? I'll give him a shuffle. In fact, I'm gonna give him a dynamo shuffle like this. <laughs> we'll do it in slow motion. Very slow motion. It's not on top, is it? That's not your card, no? Watch closely, if I take it and just give it a shake, boom, just like that. Is that you? <laughs> you, you can even take it, look, and you can make it go invisible. Oh. Go on. Did you see where it went? All the way up here into my top pocket. How do you like travelling? I love travelling, but I don't like going on aeroplanes too much. Why um, is that? Because it hurts my ears. I have the same problem. Yeah, it's so bad. Like, I hate it, but, but like, I, I, when you're up there, it's fine. But it's when you're about to land them, and all of a sudden my ears start to go crazy. But when you get to come to places like this, you know, it makes it worth it. So this time, take a different one. We'll have two people take one now. So one for you, and one for you. Show everybody. I'm not going to look. Got it? Have, have you all seen them? Did you see it there, yeah? What is it? No? OK. <laughs> I put one here and this one about here. Let's try this. The first card, if I snap, jumps out of the pack like that. That one, is that yours? Or is that yours? Yeah. That's your card. <laughs> so we've got the first one, the four of diamonds, right? I'm gonna put that up here and I'll do yours with one hand. I'm going to show you a technique to win the lotto, yeah? It's a technique I use, I call it cheating. Yeah? <laughs> All you need to do, you get some lotto tickets that look like this. These are from back home in England. And the idea is you take these tickets. Does that feel like a winner to you, sir? Yes. Yeah, I love the optimism. Love it, yes. love it. So what you do is you take the tickets and you just give them a quick shake. You go one, two, three, boom. That, that's how oh, they win. The, the only thing is, you have to spend it really quickly, because otherwise it just changes back, and oh, that's, oh, not, that's oh, not good. Oh, oh. So, um, so yeah. So you remember that next time you go to a shop to get some lotto tickets. <laughs> if you could have three people at your next birthday, who would they be? You, <laughs> your whole camera crew, and that guy right there. Oh, stop it. <laughs> really? That would be, your, I bet your party would be absolutely amazing. It, come on. Like that, and we have to have face paint. It'll be the best so party like ever. He's got some cool face paint on her face. <laughs> Obviously, because right, it's um, face paint. Do you yeah. have a favourite song? Mm, I have a few different. I, I go through phases when I'm travelling because, mm -hmm. like, we, we, you know, I'm travelling so much. I'm always listening to different albums. When I get mm -hmm. bored of the albums, so then I change it to a different album. But um, I think my favourite album at the minute is by a band called Twenty One Pilots and it's called Blurry Face, so nice. check that out. I, uh, I have a little feeling that uh, you're going to be maybe doing a bit of singing in the future. Yeah. You want to tell us about that? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm in Grace the Musical oh, next nice. year. What's, who are you playing? Uh, I'm not playing anyone famous. I'm just in the mass ensemble singing and dancing. Oh, cool, cool. Go Grease Lightning, we're burning up the cotton now. Grease Lightning, go Grease Lightning. OK. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's just like cool. Has anybody got a coin on them? 
Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. So this is your coin, right? It's a, it's a real coin. You can check it out. That is it's real, yeah? Yeah. Just, it's just a real 20 coin. Yeah. Yep. Watch. So I go up. I'll do it for this side. You can see that. Watch. One, two, three. In fact, do me a favour, just to hold your hand out. So from here, all the way across like that. Do you want to see some magic? Yes. Yeah? Right. Can the gloves come off? Yeah. Okay, the gloves are off. Let's do this. Uh, I have some cards here. Name any card. Uh, Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. What's this? I'll give them a shuffle. We're going to give them a dynamo shuffle. It looks like this. So the Queen of Hearts, it's not on the bottom, is it? No. Watch closely. If I rub over the cards like this. Change into the Queen of Hearts. That's what I have. Wow. That's awesome. Thank you. He's got a... Um... <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Don't know what happened. I, I think I must have had cards for breakfast. Can, can we get someone to hold this? Can you oh, hold that? You. you. Yeah, you can film it. Hold your hand out. This hand like this. So... Nothing in your hand, no. right? Close your hand tight. The coin from here. Watch. Open your hand. That would have been good, right? That would but have no, been but look, but actually, you notice I said watch. Yeah. yeah. You've got a watch on. Yeah. Turn your hand over. Look underneath your watch. <laughs> How did you do that? You didn't even touch me. I'm Dynamo, thanks very much. <laughs> That was amazing, thank you so much. And thank you so much for interviewing me. You're well, welcome. This is Juice TV. Call me. Check her out in Greece. Yeah. Watch it. If you don't watch it, I'll make it disappear. Thank you, Dynamo, for visiting the Queensland Children's Hospital. You truly did brighten everyone's day. Today was so much fun. Thank you for spending time with me. Shout out to my friends and family and my beautiful and sassy cat, Jasmine. Thank you for supporting me on my hospital journey. My name's Rachel and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.